Welcome to GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited. Now we are going to study about optical activity and optical isomerism. Light is propagated in the form of waves. Ordinary monochromatic light is supposed to be consist of waves vibrating in all planes. If such a light is passed through a nickel prism, the emergent light is found to consist of waves vibrating in only one plane. Such a light is known as plane polarized light. That is, ordinary light with waves vibrating in all planes, when passed through a nickel prism, it comes as a light consisting of wave vibrating in only one plane, which is also known as plane polarized light. When the plane polarized light is passed through certain substances or solution such as lactic acid, the emergent light is found to be vibrating in a different plane. This is known as optical rotation. Such substances are optically active substances. This property of such substances is known as optical activity. That is, when a PP light is passed through a sample, it either rotates in the clockwise direction or in the anti-clockwise direction. If the rotation is towards the right side, that is in the clockwise direction, it is called dextrorotation and the substance is said to be dextrorotatory. Dextrorotation is indicated by the symbol plus or D. Whereas if the rotation is towards the left side, that is in the anti-clockwise direction, it is called levorotation and the substance is said to be levorotatory. Levorotation is indicated by the symbol minus or L. The following example shows where the rotation is towards the anti-clockwise direction when passed through the sample. 